Hi guys, Calmere here, and in this episode what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and make a workstation. As you can see, mine is getting, my uh, little chest is getting full here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on a building that includes many more chests. Uh, I have 32 chests here. I'm going to make 16 double chests in uh, a small uh, 6 by 9 area. Um, before that though, um, I went out and looked for birch and when I did that I found a wolf and I've seen wolves before um, in this forest biome but I didn't have any bones so I finally actually got one so say hi to Wags Detail and this is my area as I mentioned it's a uh, 6 by 9 and I'll get to that in a minute uh, as I mentioned I went out looking for birch and I made myself a uh, tree farm it's um let's see uh, sorry one second here um, I made a tree farm, oh here it is, right there. So yeah, all kidding aside, I don't actually use tree farms anymore. Um, with my mob grinder, I get plenty of bones in order to get bone meal. And so I really don't have to actually make a area for trees to grow. However, um, I do you prefer to use birch. And the reason for that is because normal trees will uh, branch out such as that oak trees I guess they're called um, and that creates a huge canopy and those are kind of a pain in the butt to cut down whereas a birch tree this is the tallest a birch tree will actually get so that's kind of lucky um, at least I think this is um, and they never branch out and it's very easy to cut you just point straight up yep this is the tallest unit and I can tell because with the uh, tallest trees I usually have to hit one block cut down this last block and yep that was the tallest that a birch tree can ever be. You get plenty of wood very quickly and don't have to worry about cutting down awkward shaped branches or canopies or anything to that effect. So there's my tree farm. And uh, later on, if you want, I can go ahead and make a uh, uh, an actual tree farm to grow the other types of trees as well, prevent trees from branching like that, um, different methods. But that'll probably be uh, much later in the series. So let's go ahead and work on uh, building a uh, workstation. Now while I'm building this, um, what I'd like to go ahead and ask is that anyone who's interested in my channel, um, subscribers, anyone who's been watching any of the videos, or even new people, um, I've kind of started to realize that my Let's Play is more of a kind of a tutorial series rather than an actual Let's Play. So anyone who's wanting to comment, uh, feel free to do so, um, I, either on my YouTube page or on Minecraft.forums when I link my videos there. And, uh, it, you know, kind of let me know what you're more interested in seeing. Um, if you'd be more interested in seeing a continuation of the way I've been doing straight up tutorials, uh, explaining how I do everything. Or if you're more interested in, let's say, you know, uh, gameplay, like me actually uh, building stuff, um, working on aesthetics, like whenever I added all the extra stone around that to make it look nicer, same thing with the, the shaft in the back. You know, let me know uh, if, if you're more interested in that. Uh, I'm not really much in adventure type things like going cave diving, stuff like that. That's why I have the mob grinder. I, I prefer to build than go adventuring. Um, but if, uh, you know, if I, if I really wanted to do adventures, I probably would play uh, Terraria more. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of that. To me, Terraria is more about, um, you know, adventuring. You, you start off building, but it's a 2D world, so it's not like you're going to have these giant structures or anything like that. It's more about adventuring. Once you get to a certain point you no longer start built working on your house you start working on going to find upgrades and stuff like that so you know and again unfortunately that's that's not my thing my thing is more about uh, building so that's why I like these structures so you know if if you'd like to see more adventuring uh, the cave diving building houses actual gameplay let me know and I'll uh, work on that a little bit uh, or if you prefer, you know, for me to keep it steady the way I've been doing it with uh, pretty much straight tutorials on how to build some of this stuff, um, let me know that as well um, so that I can try and uh, get stuff out there that people would like to see more. 
Now, going back to my project here, um, I've set up three furnaces and a workbench. I'm going to have three more furnaces up here later, um, but this is pretty much, the rest of this is just going to be chests. So let me show you how uh, I work on this. Now, because the furnaces are here, I don't want a chest here because I won't be able to access it. So I'm going to start one over and build a chest there and a chest there. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, so that there's not a hole here, I'm actually going to go ahead and fill that in with wood. And this can be stairs, and I will explain that once I have this uh, completed. Um, basically, if you want additional chests, you can have one here that goes that way, and one here that goes that way. Um, so if you want that, you actually have to put stairs here, not a wooden block. Uh, but uh, this is really so many chests that I never have a need to do that. So I just save the stair blocks. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to go to the second layer now, and I can't put it on top of this or else I won't be able to open this one. So I'm going to put it over to the side, and I'm going to put one over here as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and start doing the chests. don't need cobblestone. Or I'm sorry, the stairs. So build up a little dirt pile there. And I'm going to have the stairs face this way, so that the back of them are facing the furnaces and the rest of the area. And I'll go ahead and dig down one of these and show you that the back of the stairs uses the same texture plaques. Excuse me, uses the same texture as the back of stair of uh, wooden planks. So it it makes it more flush, looks it uh, looks more appealing to the eye. And so. Because this, the stairs are actually considered transparent blocks because it's got, you know, a section that's not an actual block. It's not considered a full block. Because it's transparent, I can still open the chest. And this works for slabs as well as glass. So any of those materials over a chest will still allow you to open the chest. Okay. And I'm actually going to go four high with this. So one, two, and I'm going to do two more layers above this. Okay, so I have my first wall done, and again, everything here that's wooden planks is actually the back of the steps, uh, except for the bottom one is uh, actual wood block. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and make my doorway. Uh, let's see, I want my door here. Okay, and I'm going to make a small window here. And this side is basically going to be a repeat of this side. So I have eight chests here. I'm going to have another eight chests here for a total of 16. So let me go ahead and build this side real fast. Okay, and so now I have that section built up. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, two water buckets while I'm over on this side. And go ahead and get my monster loot. And all right, so as I was mentioning, um, I've got four or eight on this side, and eight on this side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these torches on the top, and take three more furnaces and put them here. So now I have six furnaces to work with. I'm going to go ahead and glass this off so it's like a small window, and maybe put a like a small garden on the other side uh, a little bit later on. Okay, and now with this front door, I'm actually going to make like a little, uh, a little porch, three by three porch. But before I do that, I'm going to make an infinite water source underneath it, so that basically one corner is going to stick out from this infinite water source. Uh, from the uh, porch, I mean. I'm sorry. So 
I have one pool of water right there that's an infinite water source. And go ahead and get some stairs. Let's see. For now, we'll just do something along this lines. And we make a door. And I need some more stairs. Let's see here. Get some of that. Okay, so now I have my entranceway, and I've got my door, and I've got all these chests that I have. Now, for the assignment of the chest, what I like to do is, um, now there's two different methods you can use. You can have the sign uh, be in between two on the same levels, like you'd have a sign up there between those two, and you'd have a sign here between these two and you can have an arrow pointing left and right and say what they are. Um, so sort of like this. Uh, if I had cobblestone up here, I could have whoops, an arrow going that way and then I can say uh, dirt and I can have it go that way. Um, so basically you're pointing to the left chest and to the right chest. Um, I personally prefer it this way, however, um, so instead of pointing left and right, it's pointing left, so this would be cobblestone, and down, so this would be dirt, and then I would have another one over here for these two chests. Now you can do this any way you feel is more, more comfortable, uh, I just like it better that way because then the signs are on the same level, um, because this is pointing to that one and that one, this one is pointing to that one and that one, the next sign would be down here. So I'd have two signs here and two signs up there. So to me it looks better. Um, if you did it the other way you'd have a sign there, 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 and there. So it, it depends on how you like it. It's completely up to you. What you put in these chests in what order uh, is also up to you. You can put anything like you know usually I'll put wool of all colors in one and redstone type items in another. Um, I usually only put two cobblestone and one dirt. Uh, in this area if I, because you'll get overwhelmed with cobblestone and dirt so usually I'll put those if I have too much of those I'll put those off in a storage unit or a storage room somewhere else that's full of chests for just cobblestone and dirt everything else would go in here though uh, if you want additional chests as I mentioned you can put one here that goes that way and one here that goes that way but what I actually prefer to do is put five single chests so I'll have one here one there one there and one there and you can put like coal in here for all those maybe buckets of water and lava the middle one you can put your adventuring gear uh, armor swords bows arrows food stuff like that in the middle one so if you're going somewhere you could just grab all that and go um, as for the roof please keep in mind again that you have to put blocks that are considered transparent um, over the chests so, for example, I'm going to go ahead and use half slabs, and I'm going to go ahead and put it over the stairs first, and then that way you can kind of extend it over the chest. And then for the middle, I'm actually going to go ahead and put glass, so that way when it's uh, daylight, um, it's not as dark as if I had covered the whole place up with slabs. and more half stones. Alright, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up here. Uh, again, if you uh, if you have any comments, uh, I would definitely appreciate those regarding if you'd like to see more actual Let's Play or if you'd like to see continuation of tutorials, because I still have quite a few. Uh, we have some farms, um, cobblestone generators, uh, so I, I still have a couple more tips, that uh, a couple more episodes that I can put out. And uh, if you prefer to watch more Let's Play, like for example, I can work on the aesthetics of this because that doesn't look really nice to me right now. Um, if you prefer that uh, I actually do that on, uh, on a video, let me know. And rather than doing it off camera, I'll do it on camera. Um, if you find uh, any of this information useful, if you learn something new and cool, or if uh, you find this effect information effective, please uh, vote f a uh, like vote for me as well as subscribe, and uh, I will see you in my next videos.